In this video, I want to have a look at piecework. So piecework is income earned depending on the number of items produced. So it's not based on the number of hours you work and you're not paid a salary. Instead, you're paid for each piece that you complete. So the harder you work, the more money that you're going to earn. So for example, people who are picking fruit, you might get paid per basket. If you're washing cars, you might get paid per car that you washed. Delivering brochures or newspapers, you might get paid per bundle that you deliver. Or if you're working in a factory, you're getting paid per item that's produced. So for our first example, we're going to have a look at Blake. So Blake has a job in a car yard washing cars, and he's paid $5.80 per car that he washes. So part A of our question asks us to calculate what he earns if he washes 36 cars. So for part A, he's washing 36 cars, and for each of them, he's getting paid $5.80. So we're going to go 36 times $5.80, and that's going to tell us that he is going to earn $208.80. For part B, it's asking us the question the other way around. So it's saying how many cars would he have to wash to earn $300? So to figure that out, we're going to figure out how many $5.80s make up that $300. So to do that, we're going to go 300 divided by $5.80. And that's going to give us 51.724, and the number keeps going. So what that means is if he washed 51 cars, he'd have just under $300. So if he wants to earn $300, he's going to have to wash 52 cars. And that'll give him just over $300. Our next example, we're having a look at Anna. So Anna works in a factory and she earns $1.90 for each of the first 200 garments that she completes each week. And anything over that 200, she's going to earn $2.50 for. We're asked to calculate her income for a week in which she produces 350 garments. I just realized that shouldn't be a question mark on the end there. It should just be a full stop. All right, so for the first 200 garments, she's earning $1.90. So we're going to go 200 times $1.90 for each of those. Plus, for anything over that, she's earning $2.50 each garment. So if we've got 300, 300 minus 200 is 150. So over that 200, she's made an extra 150. And for each of these, she's getting paid $2.50. So if we work that out, we're going to end up with $755. So she's earning $755 from those 350 garments. So those are a few examples of piecework. 